So whenever you're watching TV and you want to get comfortable, you can pull this mount out to your eye level. So this is a, a newer a newer mount. It's called a descent mount. And uh, whenever you're finished watching TV, you just put it right back. How's it going? I'm Freddie with Infinite Tech Services and uh, today we're at a customer's house and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to mount some TVs. Uh, we're going to start with this one. Uh, we're going to replace this Samsung on a fixed mount with a pull down mount. Uh, we're going to install this 55 inch OLED TV. Um, and the purpose of this pull down mount is it reduces neck strain. So it's at a more at an angle where you can see the TV better. Also, we're going to replace uh, the cable that's in the wall. That one's not rated for 4K, but we're going to go ahead and replace it with this in, in wall AK HDMI cable. So it's going to live inside the wall. Um, and yeah, we're going to show you uh, tips and tricks on how to get this TV mounted. First step is to remove the old TV. It's a Samsung that customer got in 2007. And now we'll remove the different plates that we have installed here. We have an ethernet plate, a HDMI and component plate, and then we have the power plate. Then we remove the old bracket, which took some paint along with it. We'll fix that up and touch it up afterwards. And now we're inspecting the location of where to route the 8K HDMI cord. Now it's important that you get an updated up to spec HDMI cable so that you can use the latest benefits of the TV such as eARC. What's surprising is that there's a good amount of space behind the wall because there's only a tube that routes the smoke from the chimney. Okay, we just routed the new AK cable through. Now we're unboxing the new LG Samsung 55 inch C9. And then we're double checking the template here. This new OLED TV is surprisingly thin. In fact, it was thinner than the iPhone 11 Pro. It's just amazing how technology has advanced so, so much. Now Freddy's attaching the rear brackets to the TV. Now Freddy's just double checking the stud locations and I'll detail that now. So uh, for this mount, they give us a template, which makes, makes it a lot easier than having the big old heavy template. But uh, you always want to use a stud finder to find the studs. And it has a deep scan and a stud scan. So we just start off to the right and then slowly move over. And then boom, that's where you want to mark it. And then you start from the other side, the left side, and move towards that marking you did, you made. And then bam, you mark it there. Same thing with the other side. Boom, mark it there, you start on the left. And there it is. So we marked the locations where we're gonna drill. So we always make sure we're dead center in the stud so you can get a solid, solid mount. Guy going. Good. Yeah, it's good. No, not these. Awesome. Ready? Okay. So uh, just a quick tip here. Um, before you get these brackets, these rails mounted, um, you want to get this one mounted. It has uh, four bolts, two on top, two on the bottom. So you have to make sure and thread those in, and then you can get this whole piece right on the wall. Dude, that's how it stays? I mean, it's secure, but it clears it. Let me see. I ain't going nowhere, dude. English, Welcome back. So uh, just a little uh, briefing of what we've done so far. After uninstalling that TV, we have this descent mount. So whenever you're going to get comfortable, check it out. Boom. So it also, if you're in the kitchen, dining room, you can tilt, 
tilt this way as well. So uh, whenever you're done, you just push it right back to where it's rest, it's rest position. If you're interested in these, these type of installations, uh, definitely give us a call, uh, especially if you're in the Bay Area. All the equipment that we use in this, in this video, it's gonna be in the description below. So uh, definitely like and subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching.